Hey guys, Matt here, and uh, I got a couple box openings coming up, all special edition stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, I actually got this box from BlowoutCards.com. I recommend everyone check them out after this video. They have the best prices around. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it open, and uh, you guys should have just all seen my little thingy on the screen, or some audio with it also. Um, you know pretty cool place to get cards from. They have a lot of boxes on there. Uh, a lot of cases sometimes too. I think they have, I think they have cases of most things actually. Um, yeah, they have, they have, the cases are cheap and uh, what I like about it is because we're in New York. We're used to get it from when we was in New York and we have to pay tax on the case. And on a case, that's a lot of money. So if you can get it from someplace <laughs> out of your state, it helps you, helps you out. Yeah, definitely. I like our last place was like Dan said it. The tax would add an extra like twenty five dollars onto an order, and we would just be like super sour because the case would be cheap. They'd give us a nice deal, but then it'd be like you know tax. I'd be like, oh, sour. Yeah, and this so, is pretty much the same price except we have to pay the tax. So anyway, let me just open up some Cosmo Blazer Special Edition with a wind up shark being my first promo. Um, I've never opened Cosmo Blazer Special Edition yet. This is the first time I'm doing it. I did open a box, and I think Dan did too. But you guys haven't seen that yet, or maybe you have. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm just going to see what cool cards come in here. Cosmo Blazer has a bunch of really cool, uh, stuff. Like Hazy Flames, I really like them. Slack of Magician trolling me again. Yeah. Um, the Hazy Flames are definitely cool. For those of you who watch my channel, you know I have a couple duels up there with my Hazy Flame variant. Um, and there will be a full deck profile soon enough. Infernity Archer. So yeah, I'm definitely looking to pull some of the Hazy Flame stuff from this to finish up my deck. As well as uh, some Fire Fist stuff, because those are always cool to pull. Especially the bear. Hey, uh, what's his name? Brushfire Knight. Oh, wow, no hollows out of the first special edition pack. The one thing I hate about special editions is all the garbage. Blade Armor Ninja. They have the most garbage output out of any Yu-Gi-Oh product, I think, that they sell. Except for maybe Gold Series. Drac Impact! Hazy Pillar. <laughs> Hazy Flame Manicord, no one uses that. March of the Monarchs. Interesting card. Not very playable because of Treeborn Frog and Monarchs themselves, but in other decks. I was playing DD. Macro, oh, macro monarch, monarch, basically, and they, they ran it, so, you know, use DD Scout Plane to use your, your Tribute Fodder and etc, etc. Another Brush Fire Knight, and still no Hollows, hmm. So that's what you get with Special Editions, guys, you never know what you're going to pull. But then again, you can, also pull, you can also pull, like, five Secret Rares at the same time. Oh, Demiscus, the Blackwing guy, and just a Rare. Some Heraldic Beast stuff in here also, guys. The Unicorn. <laughs> Maybe a 1 of tech. <laughs> As I look over, Dan's just shaking his head like, no. It's just no. Oh, another Wind Up Shark. Um, interesting how they put Wind Up Shark as a reprint in this format. They should have did that for, like, Abyss Rising Special Edition. When Wind Ups were actually, like, you know still like the best deck or one of the best decks now they're just kind of like tier 1.5 heraldic beast leo that's a good one um let's see i kind of like cosmo blazer uh but there is some stuff i would change about it oh number 53 heart earth ultra rare that's the first ultra we've pulled wait let me get the rare out of this pack there we go First Ultra Rare, first Hollow. First time I pulled that card, too. Let's see what I got. Demiscus. And that's it. I think his name is Demiscus. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100%, though. Alright, going on to the fourth special edition pack. And my promo is Blade Armor Ninja. It's kind of sour how both of the promos were already super rares. So they didn't really get a rarity change. But. Whatever. I mean, there is other stuff they could have reprinted besides Blade Armor Ninja. But, dude, not really complaining. Crimson Blader, really cool synchro. And a Fool of Prophecy. Not the best super rare. And a tanky. Nice common. 
I could just imagine if Tenki wasn't a common, how expensive that card would be. <laughs> like, if it was an Ultra, it would be another, like, $50 card. It would be another Sphere, basically. No, worse, because Tenki's ran in a lot of stuff other than Fire Fist, too, though. So I think it would, it's it's more way more splashable to the point where I think it would actually be, like, a four... Oh, secret Rare, Spellbook of the Master! Mmm... That card, I, I have to say, this art, this is probably my favorite artwork out of all the spellbook cards. It just looks really cool, and it's a pretty interesting card. Um, out of the spellbooks, it, my, it's definitely my favorite artwork. I don't know about my favorite effect, but, you know, so good. Let's continue. Don't want to waste too much time ogling at cards. Slack Magician, and nothing. Oh. Secret Rare Spellbook of the Master. Usually when I open special editions, I get Secret Rares like Lost Bru Blue Breaker. <laughs> and Thunder Seahorse, which I thought was absolute garbage until I looked up the price and still thought it was absolute garbage. And then looked at the price the second time and was like, oh, it's $20, not $2. That's just how <laughs> oblivious I can be sometimes. These pack wrappers are like paper thin. Hazy Flame Griffin. Oh, there's definitely an Exceed back there. It's an Ultimate Rare. What the hell is that? Oh, it's ZW Leo Arms. Oh, ZW. Oh, I, I, I mean, I guess ZWs are fun. I've faced one deck, and they can get like a Utopia up to like a big beater bites. I've never seen what they can do. I've, I have not, I don't, all, all I know is they work with Utopia. I don't honestly don't know anything else about the deck. Oh, the twin-headed uh, eagle. That's a good uh, heraldic beast. It's a good one-off. I think it, I think it's a two-of. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he has a good. What's he do again? Um, detach. Oh, you can you can a, yeah yeah you can add. Caesar's no materials. But that, that's good because the exceed doesn't have to be a heraldic beast exceed. It can yeah, be any exceed. Any so I think that it might be a good two-of if possible. I mean, one-of I guess depending on the build, but I don't know. I would try running it two at first. Oh, Brother fist. Uh, Bear, I mean gorilla, and a, a Valkyrian knight. I pulled him from my regular box. He's really meh. Did I take the rare out? No, I didn't. Brother, hood of the fire fist. All right, that was fra that was five boxes going on to the right side of the box. I'm trying to open these as fast as I can, but they're not ripping as well as past boxes have. Another wind up shark. Uh, as actually no, I have not mentioned it yet. Uh, if you guys want to buy or trade anything, uh, if you wish to buy anything that we pull from this, check out my eBay page, the link is in the description, and on my channel. If you wish to trade, check out my wants list on my blogger. Uh, that's always there. So if you want to trade for something, you know, I do trades occasionally if you guys have something that I want or, you know, I'm just, I did a trade binder video, I'm actually like, you know, actively looking for trades, which I haven't done in a while. Hazy Flame Basilisk, or no, no, Basilisk, uh, Basil Trice. And an Ultimate Rare, number 92! Ooh. Interesting, interesting. I actually needed another one of this, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put that off to the side so I don't have to look through the rares later. Oh, still have one pack left. Alright, let's see what I can get. Another Crimson Blader, and a Cerberus. Pretty cool. Crimson Blader is an amazing synchro. I lost to one earlier because it got creature swapped away from me for a Mystic Piper. I feel like that's a card that's been getting a lot more play. I've actually been seeing it a lot more recently. And Wind Up Shark. Um, I mean, I guess, but it's hard to tell since synchroing in general doesn't see a lot of play. And once Evil Swarm comes out with Ophion, synchroing is going to see a lot less play. I saw it in a, uh, there's a Prophecy deck. Guy, right, the guy was using it. Heraldic Beast Leo? Yes. <laughs> Another gorilla. Fire Fists, in my opinion, are one of the more balanced archetypes that have been released lately. I don't know how well that's going to be translated when they release the next set where they get their Firefish Chicken and that spell card lets them pop stuff by discarding. But for now, they're fairly well balanced. Heraldic Reborn. And a brother. Ooh, Firefish Dragon! Hmm. 
I think he's actually used in the deck. Yeah, he is. He's pretty. He's got a pretty cool effect. Special summons, and he can set from the deck. So like, I think I think they all can do that. Oh, is it once per turn or when he does damage or something? Something like that. Because I, I think I, they all have that effect. I don't know, but he's pretty good. Yeah, he's definitely one that's actually used in the deck. All right, promo card is Blade Armor Ninja. Now the garbage is starting to pile up to a ridiculous amount. Okay. Oh, I see a black card, I think. No, I'm wrong. Ooh, Hazy Flame Periton. I need that. An ultimate rare breakthrough skill. This card is amazing. Its effect is just really good. Um, it's. Uh, I think it's better than Valor. I think so. I know some people agree with me on that. Others are kind of still thinking Valor is the best. But hand traps have not seen a lot of play in since like last March. If Valor's better, why is this fifteen dollars and Valor's only eight? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> ZW and another Valkyrian Knight. Now I have a full playset because I pulled one for my first box and I just pulled two more. So if anyone wants a playset of Valkyrian Knights. Hit me up. Trade you for a cyber dragon. Common. <laughs> Is it like an alternate art common? Is it like a misprint? Nah. Steady. <laughs> Was there like a battle pack card? <laughs> Actually, I don't think cyber dragon came in battle pack. No. Uh, I don't think it, it should have though. Would have been cool to see this in mixed pack. Wind up shark. Oh, it came in raw yellow as a common. That's what it was. I knew it was sets that like were around at the same time. What the hell's that? Ultimate fire formation in Shito. Okay. Another tanky. Crimson Sunbird. This card should have been a secret rare in this set. Right, Dan? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to make enough crappy secret rares. Another Twin Eagle. Oh! Mmm. I'm seeing double today. Another Spellbook of the Master. What a nice card. I guess it, I guess it just loved all the compliments I said to it before. It's still an amazing looking card. Still is. Maybe I'll pull a third one and get a playset from one special edition. <laughs> Heroic Beast Leo, let's place it at that. Oh, and another number 92, this time it's an Ultra. Wow. This special edition actually has a ton of hollows for me. Usually when I get special editions, I pull relatively to what I would get as a box. So, I never really get lucky lucky with special editions, but this one actually seems to be really good. Uh, another reason to buy the deck, buy the boxes from the yeah. vendor. Yeah, when I, when I got my Cosmo Blazer from them, what did I get from them? You put your breakthrough skill or something? I bought something from them, and I got oh. like, good pulls from it. <laughs> yeah, they, they know what's in their boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sarcasm. <laughs> Inferno the Archer. Oh. Okay, I two more packs. Maybe I can pull a, I think this is, this is the first time I've ever pulled two secrets from a special edition. I usually only pull the one, if any. Brush Fire Knight. Alright, down to the last pack of Cosmo Blazer Special Edition. What will it be? Diamond Direwolf. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Crimson Sunbird. Oh yeah, she can rare. the hell's Orbital 7? Uh, it's some, some character from the anime. Oh, well, it's super rare. Pulled the hollow. Alright, I'll do a quick recap and uh... Then end the video off there. Let me just organize the cards from rarity, so give me a moment. And I do have to admit that, I mean, I, I, I prefer buying special editions when, I, when, when possible. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but I advocate always getting the special edition if you can. Um, that's just my opinion. Let me leave in the comments below what your luck with special editions versus regular boxes have have been. So anyway, we pulled a Breakthrough Skill Ultimate Rare. Awesome. An Ultimate Rare number 92 Heart Earth Dragon. An Ultimate Rare ZW Leo Arms. Secret Rare Spellbook of the Masters X2. 
One number 52, uh, 53, Heart Earth, Ultra Rare. One number 92, Heart Earth Dragon, Ultra Rare. Orbital 7 Super, Valkyrie Knight Super, Brother Fist Dragon, Valkyrie Knight again, and Fool of Prophecy. So if you would like to buy or trade any of this, I told you where you can look on my eBay page or my want list on the channel. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Check out the channel for more box openings, duel videos, uh, discussions, duels. I already said duels. I don't know. You know what's on my channel, guys. I'm a YouTuber. I have everything. So just subscribe if you like it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching my latest video. Please feel free to check out either one of these featured videos. And also do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.